Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel and welcome back to episode 8 of Football Manager Survivor Series. This is the game where we've took over from Newcastle United as of the 31st of January um, and before we did that we imported every single league fixture result and all the transfers um, into the game so that it was as true to life as possible. Uh, the only thing we couldn't do was the FA Cup and the Caribou Cup. Uh, also, any injuries that were happening back then, we couldn't import. Uh, but we took over to see if what was done in the January transfer window was enough. Um, like I said, we're in episode 8, so we are in-game. We are around the 20th of April. Um, oh, that's the game. That, that'll be the next game. We're currently on the 18th of April uh, as it stands. We'll jump into the game and I'll show you the league table. It's a little bit different to how it looks like in real life. We have, we've had a few different results. There's been a few different results around us as well. Uh, we also, uh, we've had a little cup run. So if you didn't see the last episode, we beat Arsenal 3-2 in the FA Cup semi-final, booking our place in the final where we will face Man City. So that's, so that's going to be a tough game. Uh, if you didn't see that episode, incidentally, there will be a link in the description to that last episode, as well as all the other episodes are all down there. Uh, there is a playlist, so you can just click it and just let them all run through. And if you want, you can click the little banner that's just popping up above me there uh, to jump to that last episode, should you want to. Anyway, let's jump into the game and we will uh, take a look where we stand and we'll move on to the games. Okay then, so like I mentioned before, the league table looks a little bit different. Let me jump to the competition so we can take a, a, a fuller look at all the stats. So as you can see, unlike real life, uh, we do sit in 16th. We have 31 games played with 33 points. We are on the same amount of points as Everton and Palace who were above us. Uh, Palace have a game in hand over us. Um, and Villa aren't doing too well in this. They're on 31 points uh, just below us with the same amount of games played. Uh, Burnley, Watford and Norwich um, are still in the bottom three, although Burnley and Watford are kind of the other way around and Burnley have got a few games in hand. So Villa could be in trouble here. So could Everton. So could we still. We are, we're not safe yet. And if you look at the likes of Leeds, they're all the way up in eighth. So they've had a fair few good results where that hasn't really happened in real life. So... The idea, like I said, was to see if we can be safe, we're getting there. I feel like with the games we're going to be playing today, that could happen. So if we have a little look at the schedule, uh, the games we're going to be playing today are the Everton away game and then the Norwich away game. So that Everton game, in real life, we played it a bit sooner. But when we started this, we didn't have the dates for the rearranged game for the Everton one and also the Southampton one. So uh, they have just been slotted in as the game so fit. Um, there's also, if we scroll down, one of the other games, I believe it's the Arsenal game, has been brought forward. That's because we are playing Man City in that FA Cup final on that weekend, so they've brought the Arsenal game forward to the 11th of May. Um, kind of hoping for a couple of good results in this one. Uh, we haven't been doing too badly since we took over, but um, after Everton and Norwich, we have Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal and Leicester in the league, and then last game of the season against Burnley I hope we can get a couple of wins in today's episode uh, and then uh, that should theoretically be us safe I don't think it's math mathematically but it'll it'll jump us up to around the 12th 13th point depending on other results um, and then next week what I might do and this may be something that we do a, a bit of a longer episode next week but I might do the Liverpool the City and the Arsenal game all in one episode with not as ex not as extended highlights as I normally do the reason for it is I kind of want to do a one-off show where the Man City FA Cup final game is an, a longer period where we actually just cover the entire game and it's not highlights and I'll slow it down a little bit and we'll do a full you know these episodes only last about 30 minutes we'll do a full single episode with the FA Cup final because it's an achievement to get to the final. It'll be an even bigger achievement if we can win it. Uh, it will get us into Europe, which I'm hoping for for next season. So um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So this week we'll do Everton and Norwich, which will be a, you know normal proceedings. And then next week's we'll do three games, which I might not even show one of these games depending on the results, and might just do a high like to show you the highlights afterwards, and then we'll play two of them just to speed things up a bit. And then we'll do Man City, and then. 
the last episode will be Leicester and Burnley as the final two games of the season. That kind of works for me, and I think that's that's how we'll do it. Uh, but let me know what you want to do. But what I'll do, I will progress in the game, and we will uh, see you at the Everton and Norwich game, provided nothing else comes up in between. Okay, so a little uh, midweek fixture happened just before our Everton game. Uh, Burnley drew one all with West Ham. Uh, good little point for them. That puts them on 25 points with 29 played. Uh, still keeps them quite far away from us, although they are getting a bit closer. They're on eight points now away from us uh, and six away from Villa with uh, a couple of games in hand. Uh, but yeah, I'll move on to the game unless anything else comes up in between. And we're just about to go into the Everton game and there's been a couple of other results earlier on in the day. Um, one that didn't really go our way, Villa beat Leeds 1-0, which puts Villa up to 14th on 34 points. Uh, so then uh, I'll jump into the tactics overview and then we'll jump into the game. Okay, here's the lineup for the Everton game. I've had to do a couple of changes, uh, mainly because a lot of the players are on a heavy workload. We've had a lot of games in very, very quick succession. I've brought back in Matty Target, who was ineligible for the FA Cup uh, because he's cup-tied. Uh, Shelby comes in in the uh, anchor role uh, in central midfield. And I've moved Bruno up, who replaces Joe Linton. Um, I'm resting Willick as well. Uh, Sean Longstaff is coming in to sit there. Um, and then for the front three, uh, no changes. I've got Wilson, Fraser and St Maximum. So let's move into the game and let's see what happens. Okay, and Everton are getting us off for this uh, away game. Um, yeah, it should be. It's an important game. This it should be something, someone that something that we can get a result from. But we shall see. Um, this game is quite finicky. Where you can beat some of the top six quite easily, and then you'll struggle against the lower side. As Everton have the ball, but we've dealt with it. Uh, Shelby plays it at St. Maximum. Heads it to Wilson. Wilson to Fraser. Fraser's going to run with it. Is he going to take a shot? No. But he's played it back to Wilson, who's slotted at home. Past Pickford, uh, he couldn't reach that one with those tiny arms, and it's 1-0 after 1 minute and 45 seconds, that's a great little head from St Maximum then, Wilson finds Fraser with a, a lovely through ball, Fraser cuts it back, uh, and then Wilson's just arriving in the box, no one marking him, and he slots it past Pickford, it's 1-0, um, but a great start. Okay, we have a highlight where Target's going to pass it to Burn from a throw-in. Burn's going to run up a little bit and then pass it to Target. Target to Bruno. Bruno to Shelby. Shelby to St. Maximum, who controls it well, crosses it, gets it back. He's going to take a shot. It's going to get blocked. And then Everton are going to break here. Calvert-Lewin passes it to Townsend. Uh, that's a good little play there. Uh, but Target's back covering. Calvert-Lewin with the header. It's just over to Bravka, um, but it's wide as well. Uh, Dubravka is going to clear that out to Target. Target now has the ball. He's going to run past Townsend. Um, is he? Yeah, he is. He's going to cross the ball in, and then Wilson gets his head to it, but it's over the bar. Okay, Target with a free kick. He's going to pass it to Bruno. That's tackled straight away, but Burn uh, gets it, gives it to Wilson. Now Target has it again, passes it back. Um, Burn's going to collect that loose ball. He's going to run up with it, passes it to Bruno. Bruno's. I thought he was passing it to Trippier, but it was to Fraser. Uh, Fraser didn't get with it. He's a bit short for those long balls, especially against uh, Michaelenko and uh, Richarlison. But we've won it back. St. Maxim now. Uh, Wilson has it. The shot was blocked. Kind of ricocheted. He still has the ball. Now Bruno has it. That was a shot again blocked. A bit messy, this. is a bit bit everywhere. But, um, yeah, we're dealing with, with them, it seems, and they're getting a lot of blocks, and they seem to be very defensive in this opening half of the game as we have another throw and target to Shelby target gets his cross in that's straight across the middle of the box and there's no one attacking that that's a bit poor from us um Lasalle's is going to take his time uh, he's just going to run the ball up he's played it very long and like I say Fraser's never going to get that um seems a bit of a waste that from uh, Lascelles but we have won it back Wilson has it he had it and now De Curry and then Pickford is going to play it out. Uh, but Target's going to win that header. Uh, we do still turn over possession though. Townsend now crosses it over. Damari Gray's running. He gets the ball past Dubravka. It's one all. It's going to go to VAR though. Was Damari Gray offside? Um, I'm not sure if he was. It was quite a high line if he was. Um, yep, goal's been awarded. Uh, we don't get to see the replay unfortunately. That would have been nice to see. Uh, just how close that was. 
But it's one all, 37 minutes. Uh, Everton have turned this around as we drop down to 16th position. They have a corner. And it's two in very, very quick succession for Everton. That's a nightmare. Uh, Townsend with the crossing and then Godfrey gets his head to it. Uh, Dubravka was nowhere there. And that is half time. Yeah, we kind of caught them early on the on the break, but they've really come back into this game. Uh, Everton have been, if you look at the XG in the match story, they have uh, come back to it with a couple of goals, uh, really hitting us on a kind of a two goal in a couple of minutes there. Townsend with two assists as well, he's really come back to haunt us. Um, yeah, so the stats for the first half, we've had six shots with only two on target. Uh, we've only had 41% of the possession, so they are playing a bit better than us and an 83% pass completion rate. We start the second half with Ryan Fraser, passes it to St. Maximum, back to target. Target to Byrne, Byrne's going to play it up a little bit, he's going to run with the ball, and he's going to pass it to St. Maximum, as keen to Richarlison, and now Decoury, target's going to deal with that, but St. Maximum, now he gets it, uh, Decoury, uh, De okay, Wilson's played in Fraser, Fraser gets it, can he slot it past the keeper? It took a deflection, it goes out for a corner, as uh, we're going to play this corner, let's hope this corner um, tactic can work, as, oh, Pickford saves it and it's another corner. Let's see if Fraser can whip this in again. He does and it's whipped in yet again. That's offside. Okay, Everton have a free kick as Deli Ali now has it. He's just come on. Uh, Damari Gray is going to run with it. Uh, Calvert Loom back to Deli Ali. He's left Lascelles for dead. That's a great save by Dubravka and then a great block by Lascelles to give him credit. Um, he dealt with that. Uh, but we are now going to make some changes. Uh, let me bring in the tactics and there's a few players not playing well and there's a few players quite tired Kieran Trippier is playing uh, not very well and he's tired he has just come back from a little injury so I'm going to bring on Mankio um, who else isn't playing too well Alan St Maximum I'm going to bring him off and we're going to play Joe Linton in the um, the support role and move Callum Wilson up to the advanced forward uh, is there anyone else yeah John Joe Shelby uh, I think I'll leave him on uh, but I'm going to switch him and Bruno around because he's not playing too well as the anchor role, and Bruno can do a, a do a bit of a bit of a better uh, job at that anchor role. Uh, we'll leave everything else for now. Um, it is only two one with sixty five minutes, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, Pickford plays it long. We win it back. Sean Longstaff passes it to Fraser. Fraser to Jolin and Jolin to Shelby. Fraser has a shot and Pickford doesn't deal with it. Um, he only palms it out for a corner. Uh, as now Target's going to deliver the corner. Goes to Longstaff, back to target. He's offside, is he? No, he's not. Uh, Callum Wilson's going to pick this up. He's going to run with it a little bit. Back to target. Target takes a shot, and it's well over the bar. Uh, Callum Wilson is looking a bit tired as well. The assistants are telling us. Uh, Everton Howe have the ball. as uh, That's a great ball at Dali Alley, but Bruno's going to deal with it. And now Lascelles can clean up. Uh, target to Shelby. Shelby to Longstaff. Longstaff's going to play it to Mankio. Uh, Mankio to Joe Linton. Uh, Joel Linton back to Bruno. Bruno's played a lovely ball to Mankio there. Uh, Mankio's going to run. Is he going to get across in? Nope, he lost the ball. Uh, kind of got stuck under his feet there. But Lascelles recovers. Uh, Bruno now has it. Back to Shelby. Shelby to Longstaff. Longstaff to Fraser, who's through. And oh, that was a poor little uh, poor little shot. Uh, wasn't the strongest of shots from Ryan Fraser. And it was dealt with by Pickford. Uh, I'm going to make another change. Um, I'm going to take off John Joe Shelby and bring on Joe Willock. He's, John Joe Shelby's playing a 6.2, and I think Joe Willock can do maybe he's a bit more in attack. Uh, we have a lot of tired legs out there, but it's just the amount of games we've been playing uh, recently. Let's confirm that and continue. Um, 78 minutes gone. It's 2-1. Uh, I'm going to go into the 80th minute without a highlight, as uh, now Everton have the ball. Uh, I have a throw, and Michael Enko eventually throws it. Uh, that's them wasting time, I think. Deli Ali now is going to run down. He's going to cross it in. And oh, Dan Byrne gets beat to the ball there by Calvert-Lewin. Um, again, a lot of tired legs out there. This could be a downfall for us as Deli Ali uh, runs in. Yeah, he's played that wide. Uh, goes for a goal kick. Three minutes of extra time. I think we can chalk this off as a defeat. Uh, but there is one last highlight. As Willick's dispossessed to Kure, he's going to run with it. Willick's going to find target, I think. Is he going to pass it? No, he's just going to pass the ball. Oh, that was poor. Uh, Coleman to Townsend. Townsend and Ali back to Townsend. Ali's going to play it. Mankio's got back to the keeper who plays it long. And that's it. That's the final whistle. Um, as Everton 
get the result. It's 2-1. Yeah, it wasn't the best result for us, that. Um, I just think we have so many tired players, it's it's quite hard to rotate and, and keep the quality that we've been playing. Uh, but we've had 13 shots, 5 on target, 46% um, possession. That's quite a kicker, really, because I was hoping to get results from two of these to maybe ease our safety. It doesn't seem to be happening. So unless anything happens beforehand, we will move straight to the Norwich game. Okay, just before the Norwich game, there's been an early kickoff. Everton have been beat 4-0 by Liverpool in the uh, Merseyside derby. Uh, that's good for us because it keeps them on 36 points and it also adds to their goal difference. Uh, if we can get a 2-0 win here, we'll leapfrog them into 14th. There are a lot of games today that we need to be keeping an eye on. You've got Brentford, Tottenham, Burnley, Wolves, Palace, Leeds, and then obviously we play Norwich. Watford also play Man City. Um, although I think Watford might be... They're, they're, they're on the same amount of games as so that could be a problem. But uh, Burnley Wolves is one I'm particularly keeping an eye on. But we'll move on. I'll uh, come back to the tactics for the team. Um, I think we're going to have to rest a few players because we are in such a congested run-up of fixtures that I think they're just not going to last the 90 minutes if I don't. So I'll pick the team, I'll show you what I've done, and then uh, we'll move on to the Norwich game. Okay, so here's the lineup for the Norwich game. I've had to make a few changes because we've got so many players on heavy workloads and not very uh, fit. It's a shame, but it's because of all these fixtures that are coming up, so there's not a lot we can do about it. Um, so top to bottom, we've got Dubravka in goal, and then a back four. I've brought in Paul Dummett because uh, Matt Target just still isn't fit off that injury. If we have a little look at this, um, yeah, he's still not fully fit. It's weird. He's been back for a few games now, but I brought in Dummett. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Target is on the bench should we need him. Got Sean Lascelles, Dan Byrne as well as on a uh, he's been on a long run of games. I've actually left him out of the squad completely. He hasn't recovered yet um from the last game. Uh, but we've got Sean Lascelles and Trippier as the back as the back four with Dummett. Uh, Hayden in the anchor role. Hayden hasn't played much, so he's got a light workload, which is quite nice. Um so he can go through. Got Bruno and Willick in central midfield. Bruno was the only one I'm tying with maybe he's uh dropping to the bench. But we'll leave him in for now. And then up front, we've got Wilson, St. Maximum, and Joel Linton. Uh, again, Ryan Fraser is on such a heavy workload and he runs so much that I've just left him out for this time being. It could be by downfall. Um, fingers crossed it isn't. Uh, we're going in against Norwich, who are on 18 points at the moment. So hopefully, uh, this shouldn't really um, cause as much trouble. But we'll see what happens and uh, I'll see you at kickoff. Okay, and we get the game underway. Um, yeah, like I've said, this is quite an important game, this. So we'll see if we can get anything from it. Uh, we are going on the attack straight away, but this is probably the first highlight. So they don't normally come to much as that goes out for a throw-in. Okay, we have the ball. Willick's going to pass it to Trippier, who's going to make a little run. Trippier at St. Maximum gets dispossessed, but he Trippier cleans it up and St. Maximum gets it. That's a great save by Krull. Um, unfortunately, it was a good little shot by St. Maximum, who is playing on the other side uh, to what I normally play my. So we'll see how he does. Uh, we have a throw-in. Paul Dummett. Now he's going to pass it to Bruno, dumb it to Wilson. Wilson's crossed it in. Joel Linton with a header. Uh, it's dealt with by Tim Krull, but that was a nice little play. Uh, I feel like we missed some height with Dan, with uh, Chris Wood being injured, so I've uh, brought Joel Linton into that middle role. As that was a poor pass from Lascelles, as oh, that shot just goes wide. I think Dubravka had it covered, but that was uh, a poor, poor pass from Lascelles. We have a throw in. Uh, Trippier to Hayden. Trippier's going to cross in. Bruno with the head. Oh, that was just wide as well. Yeah, he was kind of hanging around the penalty spot uh, unmarked with a free header there, which was quite nice to see. Uh, free kick from Trippier. Oh, Joel Linton again with his head. As uh, other results, Man City have beaten Watford 1-0. Burnley are winning 1-0, uh, which isn't great for us. Um, and Palace are drawing with Leeds. Uh, 43 minutes gone. There hasn't been many highlights in this game. It hasn't been... Uh, the best as it has gone for half time we are the better side and uh, nine shots three on target 57 percent possession with an 85 percent pass completion rate uh, but Norwich are always dangerous when they have uh, Timo Pukki on the field uh, especially in this game I find he's uh he's very dangerous in this uh, we'll go into the second half Okay, Norwich kick us off for the second half of this game. And uh, yeah, the ball comes out. Uh, Tottenham have beaten Brentford, which is good for us. They've just scored. And uh, Norwich, oh, that was a great save by Dubravka there. They played it right through us. 
Um, we are up to 16th because Palace are getting beat, which is always a good thing to see. Uh, as Wilson heads the ball clear from that corner. Okay, Norwich with a throw in. Aaron's is going to play it straight through. Now Puki has it. Uh, Rashika now to Aaron's. Aaron's to Dowell. Dowell got past Hayden. That's a that's a poor poor goal to concede. That as uh, I think Hayden lost his man, and then Dowell just slots it past Dubravka, beaten at his uh, far post. Uh, it's one nil. It's not the uh, the start of the second half we wanted, but we do have the ball. Hayden's going to play it long. Trippier can collect it. Uh, Trippier's going to get past Williams. Is he? Nope. That shot's blocked. And uh, they're now going to break with the ball from what looks of it. Although they're not breaking very quickly, as uh, they play it to nothing. Lascelles now picks it up to Trippier. Uh, now Saint Maximum back to Trippier. Uh, Trippier is going to play the ball, but <sighs> Gilmore's picked that up from Joel Linton. That wasn't a great pass from Trippier. I feel like there was easier passes on. We do win the ball back, though. Wilson to Bruno. Bruno's going to run with it. Can he score? Yes, he can. That was an outside-of-the-foot curler. Straight past Krull. He had no chance there. That was a lovely, tidy finish from Bruno. We lost the ball. I was a bit worried, but Joel Linton gets a little uh, block in, and then Wilson plays Bruno, who's unmarked, uh, straight through. And, yeah, he just kind of... Dinks it past Krull with the outside of his foot. Um, it's a great little uh, turnaround there to score after two minutes of going down. Um, let's hope that can spur us on to get another one. Although Puki's picked up the ball uh, and he now has it again. Puki with the ball. Oh, it's a great save by Dubravka. Uh, Puki's finishing is pretty good in this game, so you expect him to score when he gets the ball. Yeah, not bad. Too bad performances. I'm going to keep my fitness levels up from what I can see. Uh, a couple of little tired legs. Bruno's getting quite tired. So is Trippier. So I might make a couple of changes. It's coming up with 64, 65 minutes. Uh, yeah, let's make a couple of changes or at least a change. Um, I'm going to bring on Mankio for Trippier. Although Trippier's having a great game, he's tired. I'm thinking for the next game, and I'm also going to bring off Bruno. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on Miggy Almiron, uh, but I'm going to swap Almiron with Joe Linton and then Almiron with Wilson. So a um, couple of changes there. We'll get them confirmed, and we'll hopefully see this game off. Uh, Lascelles is going to play it out to Mankio, can run with it. Mankio is going to pass it to St. Maximum. St. Maximum with a shot... Uh, Krull spills it and it goes out for a corner. It's currently 1-0, 83 minutes. Miggy Almiron has the ball. Now Joel Linton back to Miggy. Miggy's going to run to Wilson. St. Maximum is... Was he offside? He was offside. We have another throw-in. Joel Linton's going to play it to Almiron. Back to Dummett. Almiron... Uh, Joel Linton now has it. He's going to run with it. And that's picked up all day by Tim Krull. We do have a free kick. Dummett's blasted that on the wall. He's never going to get that. Oh, Almiron's picked it up, though. He's going to run with it. He's passed to absolutely nobody, and now Norwich are breaking on the ball. Uh, can we get enough men back? I think we have done. Uh, that was very poor by Miggy. If this turns into a goal, that is not great. As uh, Norwich are breaking, uh, but Manquillo's covered well there. Oh, that's a good block, and Lascelles deals with it. St. Maximum, that's a foul. And there we have it. That is full time. It's one all. And uh, Norwich came back into that in the second half, and we just never really got going. Um... Yeah, good goal by Bruno, but it was a poor goal to uh, to concede from from our side, from our standards. Um, we'll move on. Okay, so other results are in. Um, obviously, we knew about the Everton game and the 4-0 defeat of Liverpool. Brentford got beat 1-0 from Tottenham. Uh, that was a good result for us. Burnley beat Wolves 2-1, so Burnley are now on 28 points, so that's quite worrying. Although Palace got beat 3-1 off Leeds, so we leapfrog Palace. With that point, um, puts us a point ahead of them, and we're equal to Villa with 34 points. Um, Man City beat Watford 2-0, uh, which is a good result for them. Obviously, our game against Norwich is 1-0. Chelsea have beat West Ham 8-1. Lukaku with a double hat-trick. Um, only in football manager, right? But yeah, 8-1 from Chelsea. And then uh, Man U beat Arsenal, which we're not really too fussed about. But yeah, next episode, we're going to have Liverpool, Man City and the Arsenal game. And really that lines up for a single episode with against Man City for the FA Cup final. And then Leicester and Burnley will be the final two of this season. OK, so that about wraps it up for today's episode. Uh, not the results we needed. Uh, we do have another point on the board, but we are far from safe. Uh, this is going to go right down to the last game of the season, I feel, against uh, Burnley, which, 
yeah, I kind of hoped we would be safe before then, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll move on. Like I said before, next episode is a three-game special uh, because we have that FA Cup final, which we're going to have a single episode on. If you like this content, you can also subscribe to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. And, and if you want to be notified when we release new videos, you can also hit the bell button um, and that'll give you a, a ping on your phone or an email, depending on your YouTube settings, whenever we release a new video. In terms of videos, you've got the Always Smiling Faces podcast on a Monday, you've got Extra Tyne on a Friday, and then on game weeks, we get the post-match part of the pre-game uh, review, and then Matty will sometimes do a beat on the lines as well, and that's depending if you can get a fan from one of the other clubs to come on. Uh, you've also got the My United videos, uh, you've got these videos, and the, the one-offs like the War Flags uh, kind of documentary that we did that was really good there's expect more stuff more stuff like that to come if you want to chuck a couple of quid our way you can become a member of the Gallagher end or the Lisa's end it's $2.99 or $4.99 a month depending on what you want to pay what that will give you is early access to videos so you get early access to these videos early access to the my united ones and uh, you also get access to the telegram group which is there's around 120 people in that group and uh, you know we talk about it every week but it is a great little community of like-minded people uh, everyone's talking about Newcastle it's Newcastle crazy you'll get all the news anything you need will be in that group if you uh, if you need an update on anything and you kind of find it online it'll be in there and it's absolutely chaotic on match days everybody is messaging in as they're watching the games it's a, it's a really good little group that and it's uh, really worth the membership fee alone as well as the videos but that's it for this video. Thanks again very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode for a triple header against Liverpool, Man City and Arsenal. Will we get anything from it? We'll have to find out, won't we? We'll have to see. But uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.